What's going on, guys? This is a late night stream. All right, so let's get all talk about this stuff. So I picked up, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I picked up two brand new 2021, not 2020, 2021 Triton trailers. I picked up an LT single trailer, and I picked up a Triton wave trailer, um, and they stacked them on top of each other, and man, I've been driving for eight hours today, and I just literally got home not even like a half an hour ago. I got it. If you haven't seen, I just uploaded a Sea-Doo video. So literally two uploads within 30 minutes. It's, I literally got home, had to give my dogs water, make them all situated, get the video up, get the live stream ready, and like get myself ready, and I'm here. So sorry for the late night stream. So uh, let's get what's going on. I see Bates here. Perp is here. Uh, Freddie's here. Uh, let's see. Who, I'm looking at all the comments coming out. Patrick's here. Collab's here. So first off, you don't have to say what town you live in. I just want to know everybody what state they're from, and then we're going to get this video going. I'm just curious. Perp said he wants handlebars. This is this is like the best handlebars, in my opinion. Oh, hang on. Revo Racing ones, man. We got that. Snake skin. It's like real nice. No, so uh, it, it's kind of funny. Well, let's first. I want to see where everybody's saying where they're from. And I'm going to get So we got. We got. Uh, I hope I'm going to say Caleb. I hope I'm saying this stuff right. So it's a, it's a lot. I'm, I was getting tired of where at home. I got some energy going on right now. So he's from Wisconsin. Patrick's from Maryland. Harrison's from Minnesota. Purpose from Oklahoma. SRT Speed is from Chicago. Man, Chicago Sunday was like, well, was it Sunday? Well, technically Monday morning was a war zone. Unbelievable. Let's not even get into talking about that. It's like crazy. Uh, Amaral is from California. Mark is from Australia. Yeah, uh, see what what do they see in Australia? I don't want to sound like a cheesy like movie line. Uh, good day, oh man! I hope I'm no, I'm not. I'm trying to think. Probably the only movie that's going in my head right now. Thinking of Australia, it's Crocodile Dundee. They'd be like, it'd <laughs> be like, if the guy showed his knife, goes, that's a guy. <laughs> uh, we got Eric from Puerto Rico, Freddie from uh, Stamford, Connecticut. I think that's right. Um, Ethan from North Carolina. Good day, mate. That, see, I, I was getting close. I was like, yeah, it's something like that. That's what I gotta get. I got out the stand up. I got I got like a decent sized dot, like a water knife. But I want like I want like the crocodile Dundee knife, man. We got the gators and the sharks. I need to have like the crocodile Dundee knife on me. Be like, blood work. Something happens, I pull like a machete off the front of the pole or something off the stand up. Um, yeah, so crazy stuff. I have a dealer set up where I'm going to be putting a deposit tomorrow on the 2021 Yamaha Superjet. Uh, so the Ethan asked, What are my thoughts on this Superjet? I'm looking at this. Uh, Basil said, Land of the Lakes. Uh, load up your skis. Let's ride. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to get. So Ethan asked where my thoughts on the super jet. There's not a lot to see, but I know for a fact the photo that I did in last night's live stream is legit. Somebody who was there that told me all the specs did say that is a legit photo. And when I sent the photo of the GP, well, I sent, I sent last night the super jet. He didn't respond to me until this morning. So I'm pretty positive with all these videos. And like there was somebody telling me, like, I, first I want to say is I'm really, really happy to all my subscribers and then people also follow me on Instagram. I am underscore Baywolf. The whole day, people have been sending me photos like, have you seen this yet? I, most of the stuff I've seen, I have to say, I'm really impressed. Everybody, we're, they're all sleuths of the Baywolf Nation of finding what's going on and looking and seeing what's out there. Because definitely, I man, it's crazy because we talked about it all last night and then boom, the internet exploded. 
that's kind of where some of those trolls came on. We know who they are. They're in the industry and they're they're upset that they couldn't talk about it. And then the next day they start leaking all this stuff. It's just funny. We know who the trolls are. They come on the channel last night. They they expose themselves the next morning. So uh, the super jet, there's not much to be seen, but I will buy it sight unseen. <laughs> All I know is they're not coming out to November. And I the rest of the info, I cannot say any more until I know for sure I have a deposit put in. And I'll talk more about it. But the November, the Super Jets, so there's a fair time of wait. It's not happening tomorrow. It's not happening anytime soon. November. So uh, let's talk about this GP 1800R. The first photo I saw when I woke up this morning, I look in and go, Oh, please don't tell me this is what it's going to be. I really liked like in Yamaha, but the first photo I saw, I'm like, seriously? Some of the stuff I said, I won't say it online because it's it, 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 it's not appropriate. But I was I would tell you, I was like, I was all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm selling a GP. You got to buy that. And I see stuff. Uh, but let's first think we haven't physically seen photos. A photo on an angle can look bad. So, um, let me see. Hang on a second. Uh, I'm just going to pull. I got some stuff. I was going to have this. Uh, sorry, this is a more professionally prepared. I was going to put all these images on an iPad. It would be bigger when I put it up to the camera. Literally, I did not think I was going to get home this late. So, this is why this live stream is so late. But I have photos, so if people haven't seen it, so we're all, we're all up to seeing what's going on. Now, I'll give a shout-out to uh, Bait. He sent me these. Uh, so hopefully, I can get them to show. So that's one part of the handlebars. Sorry, they're blurry. It's what people sent me. Here's another angle. Oh. Hang on a Am I deleting stuff? All right. Got to be careful when I put my finger. Oh man, it's sorry. This stuff is. Some of these ones he sent me are pretty blurry. So in certain shots, the ski looks like there's different colors. So honestly, you don't know. Some stuff were prototypes. He did find one of the dash. It looks similar, exactly like the uh, uh, Yamaha FX. And I figured this because if you look in the racing, like. Some of the racers racing for Yamaha that are actually sponsored. Some races they were in the GP, some races in their FX. I always thought it was kind of weird. And kind of you could tell that they were getting at what they were doing is they're going to have one that looked more like, I don't say like the FX, but how they're going to modern it up. Probably also, too, is after once this comes out, they won't be racing the FX for this coming year or next year, I mean. Uh, Uh, let's see, I had another subscriber send me this one. Uh, so, uh, most of these are really blurry because I think they took a picture of a photo. And then, uh, let's see, there's ones that I got. This is one that somebody sent me. And I'm just not feeling the front of the ski. I mean, there's you can obviously see in here. Is uh, let's see what my figure is. The gas cap is similar, like the FX. So the hull is the same as what mine is. Because when I told you guys last night in the live stream, the person that gave me a little hint of what's going on said you could not change your existing GP to be like this, which I'm going to get in another photo. But obviously, there's a hole. The gas cap is not in front of you, up above the handlebars. It's now on the side. I'm just not feeling skis that has stuff like that. Just my preference. I mean, if you look up close, you can just let's get it where it focuses. I just, I'm just not feeling that. I'm just, I, I mean, the blue and white one. I feel like the 2017 Yamaha GP 1800 looked better. Um, let's see. And then this is the one I saw this morning. Let me get it where it's not. All right, let me get this in focus. It'll be easier to explain. So what you can see here, I'm trying to do this and keep it in focus. So that, so everything 
below there is the same as what previous ones were. If you look at the back, it's the same. The front, the nose piece is smaller. So it means they made these strips on the side longer where it would originally end. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to figure right where my finger is. And then you can see that it's hard to tell is if it's added on with the front hump there. See how it looks like there? If that's part added down, it doesn't look like it's part of the hull. So it looks like body work that goes down the front. You obviously can tell there's speakers in them. And then the thing I'm just not feeling is just, there's just way too much white on it. I mean, you got really tiny graphics saying GP 1800R. And to be honest, I think the 2019 and 2020 have the best graphics out of all the years. You can also see that the main part of the seat looks similar. The back is more of a hump than what the previous one was. And the handlebar in the rear is different. But you could tell this whole blast black plastic going goes probably all the way up to the up to there if you pulled up all the panels and stuff so i think this is one long piece that's added made to make all these pieces hook on structurally the handlebars it's hard to tell where their position is but instead of having that big plastic that was there before the one thing i'm not feeling with is the handlebars look super high if you just saw early in the stream i showed what the so the stock bars on the 20, the previous GP were higher, and then they lowered once you do the Reva Racing handlebars. But you can tell how, like, how much stuff is different, but you can recognize a fair amount of stuff that looks the same. I can also kind of tell, maybe wrong, the, uh, it's, it's hard to tell, but I think the Sponsons look a little bit different than what came. They look a little bit bigger on then the previous one, I may be wrong. I just haven't had the stock ones in for over a year. So um, I'm just kind of guessing on that. But you can tell how a lot of stuff is different. But I'm feeling like even when I showed you the photo of the person on there, it just looks like the handlebars are sitting really high. So like I'm just, my kind of feeling is that you're sitting here, you're going to have these super high bars. Who knows if they're adjustable or not. It looks like a very quick fix to be changing and running a different style bar. But I think it's nice that they did something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Go up to the comments. Sorry, I'm showing too much. Let's see what people have to say. Um, Tyler said the GP is such a letdown. I felt bad blowing you up. Patrick said I felt bad blowing you up. Hey, I'm cool seeing messages. The hard thing is a couple of people are messaging me. I was driving. I'm not one. I don't text and drive, and especially when I'm in the road all day. Um, Tyler said so ugly. Eric says Spark or Wave Runner. Obviously Wave Runner. Uh, Saw this video on Facebook. I also saw Lee Patrick said I also saw a lead picture of a black GP with green. Looked really good. Yeah, I showed that. Caleb said it's say I'll, I'll say it looks like it has a birth defect. The the problem what's what I think what's going on is like I said earlier, with the whole coronavirus, I really was shocked that Yamaha would change stuff. If you look at Kawasaki's not, we don't know what's happening with Sea-Doo just yet. I'm shocked with a lot of stuff going on, with everything going on, but it probably means they've been planning this maybe over a year ago. But I feel like a lot of stuff graphic-wise looks like it was rushed. I really don't think there's anything that's like popping where you're like, whoa, like, Whoa, like you pull out, I could pull the graphics I'm going to put on this for the 2020 over the GP. Big, you know what it is. It's really good coloring, really good graphics. And I feel that the graphics are just not there. I don't have to say the same thing with the Super Jet. If that's the graphics they come out with, definitely I'm going to be wrapping that thing. It's, I'm going to be taking a lot of those graphics off. I'm not feeling it. Uh, it's, who knows? I got somebody sending me photos in the morning 
um, that are going to see it firsthand. So I'm going to get a little bit more detail where they're going to be. I want some high res images. The hard thing is snapshots and all this aren't the same. Um, let's see. Eric has Yamaha or Kawasaki. I like both. Kelb said, yeah, front looks garbage compared to the old ones. And the thing is, is what's going to replace with storage in there? It's, I don't know. And with the fuel being moved means that a lot of stuff has to be repositioned down. It could actually be a whole different gas tank put in there by the way of how the fuel is going to be put in there is what I'm guessing too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. They're definitely doing some performance stuff to it. Curious to see what it is. Perp has the steering wheel on your DP, the 500 one, or the Riva. Well, there's a lot of stuff. The Riva one, you need their handlebars, the handlebar system, you need the grips. There's a side, not all what's there, how, how they put it together. It's a bunch of different pieces you need. It comes out to be over like a thousand. I think it's over a thousand dollars. Um yeah, Caleb said I had a full video on it. I had a go on here install videos. There's a whole video I show installing the whole thing. Parts of seat looks the same. So uh, but I'm thinking knowing when the release date of when you can finally pick up a super jet probably means that the all the rest of Yamaha's around the same time. It's going to be like November. So it's basically going to be the end of the season. I know that the Super Jets are going to be super, super limited production. I'm going to be lucky if I get one. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm getting one. <laughs> Mel said it from front kind of looks like an older GP 1300. Yeah, the hard thing is I want to see some more fit, fit pictures. I want to see more pictures with people on it because I, I like with mine, the Riva handlebars, they're really short. I don't like really high up handlebars. I like them as short, pretty much as short as you can get them. I, there's a few things in there I'm not feeling. So I'm still on a fence if I'm going to get one. Um, but I do have my GP 1800R for sale. So I mean, let's roll the dice, right? Uh, somebody asked, kind of looks bigger than the previous gen. It's the same hull. It's just stuff added on. It's not a whole new ski. Go up said, yeah, 2020 has some great colors and graphics. If you look 2019 to 2020, great paint schemes, graphics. And if if it's not popping for 2021, it, it feels like stuff was rushed is how it's coming up to me. Sometimes what I have to say is some skis, like when I bought my RXTX, I shouldn't have bought the first year. So sometimes when a ski first comes out, it's not always good to buy the first thing. But let's talk about it. I got the 2017 Kawasaki SXR. First year they came out with that, and I haven't had any issues. The Super Jet will be the first year of a whole new ski. Shouldn't probably be any issues. But when you take in a previous one, you start adding a bunch of stuff. Who knows? I mean, maybe not. Maybe just a little bit worried, but I just know with CDU stuff, you get the first year, it's probably not the best year. Caleb says, Yeah, the one is sick, blue and red, US baby. Yep. Stay said, Alabama. What's going on, Alabama? And Mel said, Yeah, sure, will look just fine at 80 miles per hour. I have to say, though, was the dash, if it has a higher red line, is a smart thing so when you modify it and if you increase the rpms your dash you can still see what's going on uh, russell said i'm a little late motor specs this is still the same 1.8 liter svho really don't know much all i knew last night from stuff somebody told me is exactly what i thought in the next day the photos are leaked so um there was no shocker there uh lucas said do you think the new gp will actually grab higher i'm not sure because it's going to still have to be governed at the same speed because it's a coast guard law so i really 
they could be doing stuff to try to get lower in power, but I don't think there's going to be any top speed increase. So, Danny said, I like it. Reminds me of the old GP 1300R. Russell said, I heard they're shifting the fuel tank further back for handling. I think, well, like I said, it's, the, it's probably could be a whole different fuel tank they're running there because it's going in a completely different position fueling. I don't like fuel tanks where they're on the actual, like, hull, like the sides and stuff. Like, I just, I don't feel stuff like that. Bait, donate a dollar. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. There's a dollar sign. If you like, you can donate money. You don't have to, but uh, like Bait said, like squad, let's get it, let's get it going. Uh, Devia says, I wish I could find 2020 graphics. You find one of for, for your ski yet, or you getting custom graphics. I showed this the last live stream. I got right here, right in front of me. So I don't know what I'm doing graphic wise, but I did buy these over like a year ago to put on my ski. 2020 graphics. Thanks, Patrick. Gave it 199. Yeah, so I'm going to put these on. I don't know. I've been waiting with this one company down in Miami doing custom graphics. I've been waiting two months. And I got, Two months is kind of long. I keep on being told and not getting responded back. So I don't know. And then plus I might be selling it. So I, I don't know. Because I got, I still have uh, these jet trim ankle mats to be put in. So I don't know. I got a bunch of people telling me not to sell it. So Russell gave five bucks, man. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, DVC, yeah, if they ship the fuel tank, it will porpoise like crazy. There isn't a lot of room to bring the fuel tank back. It could be like, it has to be a different tank of where it's going. Um, Caleb said, what time do you expect Yamaha officially release in 2021? So what's going on is tomorrow morning, I forgot what time it is, but all the dealers have Pacific videos because they can't have like official launch with them all to see. So they're seeing what the products are. They're getting to see um, like a bunch of shit stuff that the public can't see. And I know Reva Racing or Reva Motorsports on Thursday will have the 2021s on display at their dealership for that day that Yamaha brought down there. And the only dealer having them doesn't mean you could take one home. It, it's probably not to November to they're gonna have delivery dates and stuff. Yeah, Bates said I started a movement. Uh, Bates said I'm not sure what jet ski you're talking about. I think there might be a chance to put a blow up valve in the in the new. Uh, GP 1800R. That's why I think. Maybe wrong, but I think I would be shocked if they didn't. Francesco asked, how do you think the FX will be? I don't know if there might be any changes. I feel that they really going to have the GP be very close with that. So it'll be a lot of stuff where people, excuse me, a lot of people always want to get speakers in the GP and now it'll be an option. Be curious to see what brand of speakers they put in there. I'm just not one to listen to music on the water. So to me, it's not a big, big selling point to me. Cub asked, what do you think CDU will keep models for 2021? CDU is going to be lucky to get stuff shipped out. Hey, you got Mexico has a very high case of the coronavirus. That's where the factory is. So 
Um, yeah, somebody sent me a link to that, whatever that ski is. I'm not sure what it is, but send me a link. $34,000 is a like, kind of big thing to spend. Uh, let's scroll up, see what people said. Um, Patrick said, man, I'm heavy on the fence with the 2021 or just stick with to the 2020. Yeah, Mel said, I don't like speakers on jet skis. Hope it's an option. Like to hear the super chugger. I think it's going to be an option. It might be brackets or something. I mean, I guess it's cool they're offering that to people. Um, I really do not do think that Sea-Doo, they thought they were on the top, and uh, Yamaha is really coming in strong, taking that. Hopefully, Kawasaki takes some notes on future stuff designs, but uh, – I, I'm impressed, though, that y Yamaha did something. You know, they could have just, I don't even know what they would have done. I just think some of the, the graphics are kind of blah, like really tiny. You couldn't, and it just looks basic to where it doesn't look like really custom. I mean, you pull up the graphics I just showed you, really nice stuff. Fits in perfectly. Colors look good. I, I just, I don't know. I'm curious how many color options are going to be. I'm curious too with the super jet if it's only going to be white and black. Um, but we'll we'll all see tomorrow. Freddie says I have a picture of the 2021 FX and GP 18R. How can I send it to you? This picture ugly colors of GP HL on both. You can DM it to me on. Instagram, I am underscore Baywolf. Uh, Go said, is your GP1800 a good first ski for me? I mean, you can put in the learning mode and stuff. Um, it's, uh, if you're interested in pricing with that, you get, the only way I give it out is you got to DM me on Instagram, I am underscore Baywolf. Sorry. It's just, I don't like to talk prices and money and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested? Just private messing me. Now I know you're serious. It's a good ski, man. One of a kind. Bait calculator. I put about like seven thousand dollars in extras into my uh, GP so far. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Patrick said, CD feels like quantity over quality, more money spent on marketing instead of development and research. I have to agree upon that. I, I'll check the DM, DMs after the live stream. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be looking on my phone while I'm talking to you guys. I, I'm here to entertain you guys. I'm not here to be like looking at my phone. I look at everything after the live stream. Yeah, four four thousand said yeah there. The different LCD screen. I'm kind of curious about that. I've seen some photo of somebody trying to sell their GP where they did put that screen inside it, but it, like it was all hacked up. So showing that somebody added that in a previous GP shows that it does plug up and it works. So um, originally I was hoping that's why I was this person I know that's seen it. I asked a bunch of questions because I knew he knows mechanical stuff, knowing if you could convert a jet ski to look like that, like another GP, and he said it's not, you can't do it. It's, it probably could, could be done, it just would be like so much stuff you need, it's not worth it.
And it's funny too. So I did a post on my Instagram, I am underscore Baywolf, who about should I do a live stream tonight? And the funny thing is the small little percentage said no. I looked at everybody's profile and literally almost all of them were CD owners. <laughs> the small percentage, but they were CD owners like, oh no, no, I can't see. I don't want to know. I don't. I, I don't want to be brought to the Yamaha side. Don't show me. Don't show me the truth. <laughs> JR, is a Riva Scam worth it on an RXPX band? It's totally worth it. Patrick said, Chutes hurts them all. Yeah, I have to come out with a new super jet hat then too. I got a couple of hats I want to be. I'm gonna come out with an S FX hat, maybe say an FX SVHO or something. I don't know. I'm gonna come out with it because people have asked about that, and um, that's definitely on my uh, list of uh, stuff to be coming out with. Patrick says, "See you guys refuse to see the light." They're going to be, I'm telling you, c people, and this is not going to hate on c but I'm telling you, owners of c are going to see that and go, man, digital touchscreen dash that's specifically made for a jet ski, not for a Can-Am side-by-side? They're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> They're going to be like, it, it, it's, it, I tell you, this coming year, c is this going to all the CD owners are going to be? Well, it's funny because when you look at skis for sale, there's more CDs for sale than any ski, obviously, because they make so many of them. But you hardly ever see any Kawasaki's for sale because people love those things. Yamaha's are really hard to cut, find used too. But I tell you, CD, there's, there's a lot for sale. Uh, Bates reporting. Where, who's this? Somebody's using Haterade. See, P Bates said, who's this guy? Let me go find where this hater is. Well, if you see last night in the live stream, we had a, a hater coming on here. We already know who it is. He, he exposed himself last live stream. Dakota said, hey, Babel, I Instagram check for a message from my husband. His Instagram is PWC Rider 89 He sent you a picture of the whole Yamaha lineup for 2021. Uh, I'll check that. I'll check that out. Let me. I think I actually put my phone in airplane mode, too. Let me take that out of that. I'll take a look. What do you got? Let's see. Oh, man. oh, here we go. Man, appreciate the love. All right, so here, here we got us. Uh, the prime stuff gets re... Let's try to focus it. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for sending this. So we got on the live stream for everybody to see. That's what I tell you. That's what's cool. People, you know, I love sharing stuff with people find and whatnot. And here we go. So if you can't read it, we have the super jet. There's no prices. So the there's two colors for the GP 1800 RHO that's red and white. The GP 1800 is all black with red. Or the GP 1800 R SVHO comes like what we saw the black, red or black, blue and white. And then the GP 1800 R can come in all black with green. Which I don't know how Yamaha does the green. When I think of green in a jet ski, I think of Kawasaki. Now we got uh, the, a lot of people have been asking about, and I'm looking at these images. The FX looks exactly like the previous one. The handlebars all look the same. 
The only one that looks like there's new handlebars is on the GP1800R. Uh, the FX Limited SBHO is primarily red with black and it looks like gray. We got the FX Cruiser SBHO that's all black with gray seats. We got the FX Cruiser SBHO that's primarily all red with a little bit of white and black seats. We got the FX SBHO. This gets, that's just a regular one that's all black with yellow. We got the FX Cruiser HO that's primarily blue, white with black. We got the FX Cruiser HO that's in primarily green with white with black. And the FX HO kind of 50 50 red, white, and black. So there we go. And I appreciate some people sending us. So I like to get stuff talking about before we all get to see it. So, uh, Every mask and FX don't look like nothing's changing. That's what I was thinking. But Dakota, I appreciate uh, your husband and uh, you guys sharing and, and letting me know. I appreciate it. Cobb said, I see some of you. C News. Uh, Russia says, C News are like Harleys, people by the name. Uh, 4000s, I've seen the new, I've seen the 2021 GP 1800s at Badass. Caleb said, I'm so hyped about the new electric skis. I think it'd be good to see more competition in the market. I'm just trying. Basically, they don't want an electric ski. I would totally buy if the electric ski could show it's faster than a gas the jet ski. I would 100% buy that. No question. And I think we'll see that soon. It's not happening tomorrow. The hard thing right now, there's with prices of the gas, they're, they're really dropped. Um, I just, I think it's hard with the car industry where that's going to really happen right now. See, I'm just trying to get, it's hard when I'm like scrolling through this. Uh, I, no, I don't want to do that. I don't like the, and the, my Mac Pro laptop or whatever. It has this like thing and it's, yeah, it's just. Andrew said, thanks for doing these live streams. Totally. I think this is cool talking about all this stuff and sharing it. Sorry, it's such a late one, but also too, I think it hits all the different time zones. Being at the East Coast is so far ahead of what the West Coast is. We got people in Europe. Asia, all over. We're all in different time zones. And I figured to do this. I like I said, I was an eight hour car drive, picked up two new Triton Elite or two Triton trailers, and I'm selling my Triton Elite trailer. So yeah, it's just been I had four dogs and we went on this gigantic road trip to it was been, yeah. Oh no, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm pretty beat. Dakota said, No problem, you're welcome. Thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, Danny said, yeah, only black and white for the super jet. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I think they might have done that because they know the majority of people are gonna wrap those. I'm definitely gonna figure out some type of custom graphics graphics on that somehow. Yeah, babe, I can send you that picture later on. Well, you know who that person, Devious, is? The 
hater is because the CDs are shot. No, we know who it is. It's somebody in the industry, and they were upset they couldn't talk about stuff last night. And I'll tell you guys, uh, it's very cool. Uh, well, let me pull this up right now from the live stream last night um, with the, the super jet. I'll pull up it. I was, I was pretty shocked. Uh, it really started popping. Um, it's at 2,254 views. I'm pretty impressed. And I mean, I gave people like a, a 10 minute heads up. I was doing that live stream. So, hey, that was pretty cool. That was a, that was a pretty successful live stream, I have to say. Caleb uh, said, are you doing a, a thing to Def wants to know a lot more stuff, what's going on. Definitely, there's going to be a lot of, another live stream tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, and I'll give a heads up when I'm doing that. And also, too, I'm probably going to like have a exact time I'm doing it. Uh, and then, too, if you're subscribed and hit the bell notification, if I pre-set it up, it might give you guys a good heads up on what time it's going to be at. So I'm just trying to figure out um, what I'm doing tomorrow. I got to... I was going to actually go pick up another tra another trailer. Like, I can come to this trailer dealer. I was going to pick up another tra trailer tomorrow. I don't know if I can because it's going to be it's gonna be so far away, and I'm going to do this live stream. So I'm like, it's calculating, and then Ragna has to get her ears checked because of her, her uh, stitches. And, yeah, uh, Carlos said, hello, Baywolf from Texas, GP1800. What's up, brother? Bates said, always remember, hashtag feed the doggos. Bates out here, peace. I say what you say, Bates, and I got no worries, man. I, you don't come mess with a, with a Viking. <laughs> Uh, Lock said in Australia, GP 18R costs 22,000, 25 to 25,000. Patrick said, I'm really curious to see your opinion on the GP once we know more about the info and it could still be wanting to sell the current project. Yeah, I'm on the fence. I mean, I was today, I had mixed reviews. I'm like, oh, no way I'm getting a new one. And then I'm like, I saw a little bit more. I'm like, ah. I'm really feeling how this GP 1800 mine runs. I really like to sit on one and see where it is, but I already can know by sitting, the bars are going to be a so up high. And um, I'm curious to see more detailed stuff. So, uh, like I said, I wish I could go to Reva Racing's event. Like I said, I got four dogs and two are puppies and Road shipping down to Florida is not a smart idea. Uh, so I'm just trying to I'm trying to figure this all out. You know, they got some people with Reva Racing sending me photos tomorrow. So and I, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, I counted them, and I think they just got them. They're getting the skis tomorrow, and their event is on Thursday. Right, their event is on Thursday, not tomorrow, but they are getting them tomorrow. Devia says, I just bought two Triton, two, uh, Triton, two states away from me. Amazing trailer, come from steel trailers, got ran over while out on the water two weeks ago. It's much nicer. Yeah, now the crazy thing, so there's dealers in my state and I bought these train trailers. I'll do a whole video talking about this. You guys see it, but I'll give a plug who these people are. I don't actually have any of their paperwork. It's all in. Um, well, I actually can give you guys the, the name of who they are. I do hit it on. I'll at least do that. Um, Yeah, 
called Palmer Motorsports in Denver, North Carolina. Um, so the reason why I went with with them is, like I said, these dealers are running more money, way overpriced, crazy. And then you got to pay sales tax. Cool thing when you buy out of state, it's like literally buying used in a way, no taxes. So what I paid for two trailers, if I went to a local dealer, I would only get one trailer. And going out of state, I bought two trailers for the price of what a local dealer would sell one. Ain't a ripoff, huh? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But you shop around and keep your eyes peeled, looking around, have your head on a pivot, and you find good deals. <laughs> Caleb said, how, how much do I need to donate for you to, to, to go for you to go to the in-person unveiling for the Yamaha GP? Enough to get it like a dog sitter. It's a, you know, like, you don't know no dog sitter in their right mind to run to take care of watching puppies. They literally have to go outside like almost all the time. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard enough to do this live stream. Literally, I'll go ride and I have a short window when I can like leave. Even at night when I sleep, I have a short window. Like usually I'm kind of do stuff and then finally fall asleep. Like once the dogs are out, like I need to go to bed because they'll wake me up. And some mornings they wake me up early. Some of know what I'm getting myself into when I go to sleep. Chip said, just got home. Picked up my new 2021 Super. Cool. My dad had a 1997 anniversary black, I'm black, Toyota Supra. And that thing was a lot of fun. His was an automatic. And me and him used to go drag racing. It's a funny story. Um, back, I think I was been just great. Uh, I think I was already out of high school. I had a 2002 Ford Lightning truck. It was really fast. And for a big truck, it ran like high 11s. And you got to think, there, it's a truck. Right. So my dad did some stuff to his Toyota Supra. We raced against each other. Both were automatics. So I'd beat him in the Lightning, and we'd be like, well, "We'll switch cars," and I'd beat him in the Supra. So it was about reaction time, and it was cool. Um, with that, and it was kind of funny beating it like a sports car with a truck. And that was the coolest thing with that. It was like that total sleeper because there was one time in this city of Chicago with a group of people, and we're we're racing around. We'll say. And the came and they just like didn't even bother me because the exhaust was on the side so they were on the other side so they didn't think they just thought I was like this truck sitting there I'm like they stopped every car and I just rolled away it was the funniest thing I remember that but I remember there was this oh where was it, it was uh division street so literally I just bought the Ford Lightning right this was 2002 massive burnout like the whole cab was full of smoke, everywhere smoke. I mean, I just like really roasted these tires and just bought it. And I just came in there like, I'm not messing around, man. We got the Ford Lightning here. <laughs> it just says, awesome, y'all had one of the back in the old Supers were beastly. Yeah, it's crazy. When he bought that, they were selling for such a premium. It was like shortly after Fast and Furious came out. And yeah, those things are like he paid a premium for that, but it was cool because it's like the Targo top. And the craziest thing, there was a person my dad worked with. I forgot what year super, but when it was brand new, like the guy had in the car bubble and stuff and would drive it all the time, but like had it from brand new. And the crazy thing is the old super as the paint was terrible. And this guy really took care of his and his paint was still terrible. It was crazy. Cool, cool cars though. Oh man, Patrick just roasted Chip, man. Whoa. Woof. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Christian asked, do you ever go down to Georgetown? Not really. I kind of have my like set spots. I know what's going on there because the current always changes there. And even too, when the uh, uh, person bought my um, RxPX on Saturday, um, you can tell the, the water was way down. It's kind of crazy because we just got hit with a hurricane. And usually the water will rise from that. I don't know. There's just some weird stuff going on. We had like, a, it didn't hit here. But there was a parts of North Carolina, South Carolina, like a 5.1 uh, uh, earthquake a couple days ago. It was yesterday or the day before. And that's crazy. I, the dog was making all this noise before waking me up. And I woke up and, like, I was up when it happened and nothing happened. Patrick said, the new Super Nice, I really like them. Just prefer a truck, daily, older JVM project, big fan of the new Super. Yeah, that's the one thing I really love in my Jeep SRT. Actually, to be honest, when I had the Hellcat, I still thought the Jeep SRT was a better vehicle built. It wasn't as fast, but all around, like when you get stuck in rain and whatnot, the Jeep is like the killer, and you can tell with it. Technically, I could probably say I had the fastest sea dude because I went pretty fast pulling it. So does that count that I had the fastest sea uh, dude? Or I could have said I had the fastest Yamaha. Let's hook it up to the Jeep SRT and just go blasting down the road. Uh, Devious said, did you ever test on the Riva steering on the GP 18R to see the, the different setting resulted in? Well, I got it. I got the steering right here. Yeah. There's a bunch of settings inside there. You can actually also angle these bars. Sorry, I'm trying to get this. You could angle the bars in any direction you wanted to. So I haven't set up how I wanted to before tightening stuff. And inside there is a bolt where there's three settings that will adjust it. I haven't really messed with it because I'm pretty happy with how the stuff is. I, I tell you, that was like the, the handlebars were like the number one thing I wanted to get. I did not like the stock steering system i thought it was too high actually watch all the old videos you couldn't even see the dash because the thing would come up so high you guys couldn't even see what the speed it was going it was like that whole thing was hidden that's also a thing what i'm a little afraid of the new ones if the bars are so high we might not even be able to see the whole cool cool dash on it that is that could be facts i just thought of that it could be facts Uh, I haven't messed with the other settings. It, it's kind of usually, I don't want to be out there and have a ride where I'm not happy on stuff. It's something I'll probably mess around with more, but I'm, I'm liking how it's handling. Chip said, maybe one day I'll bring my ski to Myrtle Beach and race Bay. Well, I'm open, man. Season Season's year round here. We got like one or two months. It might be a little bit too chilly to go out. But the season's pretty much year round. It's pretty much December, end of December, early January is those times where it's like, it's just not that comfortable to go out there. You can go out there, it's just, you don't want to get wet. I've gone up to parts of like Bucksport and the Wakawa. Uh, I just find all those things are really wide open and just not. I've uh, been up there before and just wasn't, it's just, it, I, my goal when I go riding, I don't want to be putting like tons of hours on the machines going too far. I like to get as max amount of use of machine, machine. I don't want to like put as many hours on as quick as possible. So like you actually see like my GP, I've, I've done a lot of videos with it and all I got is 33 hours. I make all the every hour count, <laughs> like really count. I don't like wandering around with stuff. I like to make it get to the point with stuff. Mitchell, does the 2021 GP comes with speakers? I don't think it'll be standard. I think it'll be an option. Yeah, that's why I was up in Denver, uh, North Carolina. I got some cool legs. I'll see them. Oh, man, it'd be so cool to ride. But you're hauling, hauling, hauling back trailers, so.
Carlos, this is a good question. Good question tonight. So Carlos asks, this is a pretty cool one. Um, is there any upgrade that you have done your GP that you really like and one that you wish you had not done? If so, what upgrades? I think the biggest crucial thing is you got to put some type of blow-up valve. Reva Racing Cell is a really good one. I think that's like a must. If you want to have your supercharged clutch, survive. That's, I hope, if one of the stuff that changes 21 may some type of blow-up valve or somebody doesn't have to buy it, but reality, that's what you have to get. Uh, I wouldn't really say there was any mods that I should have said I never have done. There's a lot that I wish I did sooner. But not one I'd say I wouldn't have have done. There's a there's a fair amount of mods that I've done to the SXR that like stuff. I'm like, oh, I should have gotten this, and I try a different part, play around, you know. That's probably, but I'm trying to get the thing to handle a certain way. Uh, Mitchell said, "Do you think one day jet skis will have lights on it? They could, but most areas you can't even ride at night, and at night there's no wake. So if you, you want to just be cruising at like one mile per hour everywhere, they, there's the rules. Even if you have lights, it still wouldn't let you be going out there. Christian said, good thing I'm taking advantage of the engine hours. Totally. I, I'm one of those people, like if I want to go cruising everywhere, right, just like ride around everywhere, I'll 100% not buy a supercharged jet ski. Because I'll just, you could probably put more hours on a non supercharged one. It's not because stuff won't last. It just stuff probably will go bad sooner because you're just continuously running something at one speed for so long. That's why I think a uh, naturally aspirated would make more sense. If you're planning to run like four hours straight, I don't know if supercharged would be the best option for that. To me, I want to go out there and have a lot of fun real quick. Dakota said, in the new lineup for Yamaha 2021, they took the concept from CDU on the hold to start click once to stop button. Yes, the new GP 2021 does come with speakers as a separate package. Thanks for the info, Dakota. I appreciate that. we seen as CDU RXT or GP 1800. Well, first, you, the, the RXT should probably be compared to FX SVHO. FX SVHO, the GP 1800R should be more compared to RXPX 300 or Kawasaki 310R. I would stick with the Yamaha. If that was me. But hey, whatever makes you happy, brother. Well, this is going to be an open channel. Like, if you got CDU, man, all power to you. It's not like you have to go sell it. If you got Kawasaki, all power to you. You don't have to sell it. If you have a Yamaha, all good to you. You don't have to sell it. Neutral zone here. We'll just speak the truth. And the truth hurts. That's it. I will make no rumors up. I'll state facts. Pablo said, I live in South Carolina. South Carolina love. It's nice, hot, and humid. And good thing I don't have my contacts on, so I got a fan running in here. So... I don't feel as humid. Mitchell said, can I see the picture of the, yeah, I'll pull it up. All right. The hard thing, I don't know this thing. Let's see if we can get this camera focused. Oh my gosh. Is it focused? Mm -hmm. I think it's focused. There we go. Dakota, thanks for sharing this. Norman's not feeling the new 2021 colors. I do agree. It's like I'm feeling by buying one, 
2020, 2022 is going to have something really cool. I'll be like, oh, I got to sell it. I need that. <laughs> I was thinking about that all today driving. I'm like, I had eight hours driving, a lot of thinking. I'm thinking to myself, what if I got the 2021? They're going to add the 2022, and it's kind of probably be even cooler. Am I right? Am I right? Who knows? I mean, it's, it's a huge gamble. All I know is I'm getting the Super Jet no matter what. It's kind of crazy because the Super Jet will be similar to like where this is primarily black and the Super Jet's primarily white. And then, well, I had to put some green graphics to them. So it'd be like yin and yang. Patrick says you can't think that way, or you could be swapping skis every year. I almost do do that. I've had the, I have had the GP. If I sell the GP, I've even had it for two years. I got it last year. I've only had it for like a little over a year. Clubs, have have a good night. Catch you tomorrow in the 2020 Yamas. Thanks, man. I'll have the whole live stream up tomorrow. Uh, Christian said they had a big group riding some bucks to work. Yeah, the hard thing, these long rides. First, I, I really don't like riding my machines like that. Plus, I have two puppies. I cannot be gone all day. I'll come home, and life would really suck. I'd have a lot of cleaning to do. It would not be fun. Hey, we got 808 Hawaiian. Aloha, bro. Just exploded my Solus 1318 impeller on my 2019 GP 1800R. I've told you, don't run Solus props. How much do I got to tell people this? It happens to Yamas. It happens to Kawasaki's. It happens to Sidus. Just repitch the stock prop. Man, I feel really bad for you. But I have told people so many times. 808 Hawaiian, DM me pictures to my Instagram, I am underscore Baywolf. Please. Please DM me these pictures. I like to have these. I have all recorded 50-something cases of the CDUs with the Solus prop exploding. I like to build cases with the Yamahas. <laughs> Everybody says it can't happen to Yamaha. I need the proof to show something because people go, oh, no, it won't happen. You go to talk about the BX touchscreen adapters released last year and they got the new GP. I'm real excited about that. That's why like, that's a selling point. Big selling point. Mitchell said, how do you repitch the stock prop? You got to bring it to a company that knows how to repitch stock props. Perp said, thanks for, bro, for the hat, bro. I think you ordered it, and it's going to be shipping out tomorrow. I was going to ship stuff out today. There was a bunch of orders came in, but I know I had to come in, and it, you'll get text. Or not text. You'll get email when it ships, and it's for sure shipping tomorrow. I did not have any time today. I will get it out first thing tomorrow, and it will get shipped out. I try to avoid going to the post office. I go to the post office late at night when nobody's there because it's open, so I don't have to. It's like one of those places I don't like going to. It's like the place I don't like going to is grocery stores right now. Grocery stores, the post office. I like going there. You just I, I pre-print all the labels, and I just go there, pull the lever, put the package in there, and I'll have to talk to nobody. I just get in and out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I like to go later at night just for my own safety. Chip said, I remember there was like 10 different Impreller brands 10 to 15 years ago. I won't get into this whole thing. I really exposed a lot of stuff about Solus props. I, I don't want to be like negative. I'm trying my best to be right now really, really positive about everything. 
I don't like to be on this rant. Like, you know, like. TV says, yeah, you can go to Kit Pitch and Scott Scat Trap. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm like debating. So if I sell, like, I had some plans what I want to do with the GP still, other mods, but it's kind of point. Like, I have, like, I have, if I sell it, I still have to install the new intake rate. I got the Revo Racing battery. Uh, I got the jet trim ankle mats. Um, let's see, what was it? I'm going to put those other graphics. So I got a fair amount of stuff to still install that I want to try to get knocked out really quick. So, uh, yeah. But I was planning to do a bunch of other stuff, but, you know, if I'm planning on selling it, I might not be too smart. Yeah. Patches and Mr. Positive, a change man, but always give people the truth. Totally, I give the truth. To me, what I'm telling you is every what a lot of people don't realize. A lot of people professionally racing these skis, they're not running all those brands like Scat Track, Solus, they're repitching the stock prop. If you're in a stock class where you can't change certain things, well, they can still change the pitch angle on their stock prop. And it means a modified skis. Let's think about that for a second. Dakota said that they just installed it on their FX Cruiser, SHO, a buff valve, fizzle, and a breather for it. I think scoots and boots laugh out loud. And I've seen there's a lot of different brands out there with buff valves you can get. I highly recommend when you install one of those, though, is to hook it to drill a hole in your intake manifold. It's the most best location to do. There's easier ways, but really do it the right way. I think there could be a chance the new ones might have a bluff of it. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I mean, this is a late, this is a late night light stream. We won't stop at the midnight. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. No joke. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do this whole video on these Triton trailers I got. So the Wave trailer I got is a smaller trailer. The Wave is more made for like a Spark or a Superjet or a uh, SXR. And that's where I'm getting it. So actually, I'm thinking to myself, I'll see myself today. I'm like, okay, well, am I going to sell this older trailer? Am I going to keep it? Is that what I'm going to put the Superjet on? I don't know. The crazy thing is right now, not to spook everybody, but Triton trailers, there is a huge shortage Every trailer, this is directly from Triton that told me, every trailer that they have being built now to the first year are all sold. Meaning there could be a huge shortage of it. That's why I bought two trailers, man. I was like, stack it up, stack it up. <laughs> Let's move. It's like I'm a convoy. Like, stack those trailers up. Let's go. Uh, 808 Hawaiian said it's 5:40 here in Hawaii. Yeah, isn't that crazy with the time change? So we're almost we're it's 11:40 p.m. and that's he's at 5:40 p.m. That's why I'm telling you, I'm trying to get these live streams at the right time because I want to get everybody able to see it, not one time zone. Um, so some people go to bed early, <laughs> some people stay up late, or some people are still at daytime. It's all crazy. Yeah, Dakota said they were scared about tapping the intake manifold for the blood valve. We did it with a map sensor, no issues yet. Yeah, there, I've heard people having issues with doing that. It might work with what you're doing. So if I guess you don't have an issue, just leave it how it is. It's not that hard. I did a video. It's not that hard to pull the intake manifold out to do that. Um, oh, I think, oh, well, I forgot what year they saw. It's 2018 down. They had a, it was aluminum intake manifold. And then they went to the plane. Uh, 
Carlos says, get a, a ski dowling and sell the original SXR track. I was thinking about that too, is getting uh, stands and then put, have two stands and then swap the stand ups off. But you might have to change settings of where they're at. Um, but this trailer, God, I, mean, I don't know if you can really see. I mean, I've got really nice uh, wheel hubs put on it. It's got brand new wheels and tires, converted all LED lights and stuff. Upgraded the front where the tie down is in the front. I did a bunch of stuff to it. It's a nice trailer. So it'd be sad to let it go, but it's a steel trailer. So I don't know. I might sell it, I might not. I don't know. I'm, but I'm like, I have right now four, four jet ski trailers, and I only own two jet skis. <laughs> it's a little crazy right now. <laughs> I'm feeling like a dealer. <laughs> Devious says Beowulf has the best video for tapping into the plastic ink tape metaphor. I appreciate it, man. It's a lot of hard. I wish I had somebody to film me when I'm doing some of these install videos. It's really hard to focus on installing and then have doing all this and filming at the same time. I wish I had somebody like showing or like filming while I'm doing all this stuff. Because it's like it's hard to like do something, stop, remember what you're doing, remember pull the case. It makes everything really hard to install. Patrick said, I got the bell turned on for tomorrow. Stream, looking forward to it. Take it easy. Have a good night, Mr. Wolf. Peace out, brother. All right. Yeah, they're talking about uh, if every model come with that. Who really knows? It'd be cool to everybody have like, upgraded technology. It's kind of buying new cars, but I hate there's some you buy like the base model and have the teeny teeny touchscreen. Then you got to pay this pre premium for the big touchscreen. And then the following year, the touchscreen is more, more detailed than the previous year. It's kind of crazy. I don't know how auto manufacturers keep up with electronics. Like literally they're making stuff the year before and then that next year it's absolutely and they're already getting some. It's the logistics of that. Would, I'm glad I don't have to deal with it because it would be real stressful. Really like it, that new Ford Bronco. The hard thing is they're not coming off to next year, and then everybody put a deposit has to wait another 18 months after the deposit to even get it. So, yeah, it's – I'm not even, like, on a radar for a Ford Bronco. It's not happening. <laughs> the crazy thing, though, is the old-school Ford Broncos took a huge, huge, huge price drop, like, unbelievable i mean they're like giving them away the old ones for the old ones were like selling for like 20 grand and as soon as the new ones came out all those people were like oh we gotta sell this thing because otherwise we're never gonna be able to sell it and they're like selling for like a couple of thousand dollars it's pretty crazy uh maybe says did the gp have the same haul the lower part is the same haul correct so technically it's not a new ski it's Upgraded scheme. And I think that's cool when man, brands do that. If you got something good, it's always good to upgrade it. You don't always have to come with a whole new design. So, I mean, half of it is still all there. The problem is you're changing a bunch of other half. I just like what I'd like to see is have my ski next to the new one and not looking at it, I want to pull everything apart and see how everything goes both together. That's probably the thing I'm most excited. I want to see how they did that, how they designed it. And that's what I want to see the most. Like, literally, if I went to Reva's event, I wouldn't be sitting on it. I'd be pulling all – I want tools. I want to pull all the stuff apart. I'm like, let's take this apart. We don't need to look at it. I want to take the thing apart and put it back together. That's what I like to do. That has to be more exciting to me. If Yamaha sent me one, I probably wouldn't even ride it. I'd want to take it apart, put it back together. <laughs> It's the same engine. I jet said I'm late. What excited for the yeah, about the GP18? Man, so much, man. We'll we'll know the full details tomorrow in the live stream. I'll have I'm gonna have it all. I'm gonna have it real nice presented. I'm gonna bring out the iPad and have all the data. Like we're gonna get done. And that's why I like doing these live streams because when I could do it really, really good, my editing software, but it takes time. 
and I'd rather get it like straight up. And the cooler thing is to communicate with people talking about this. That is probably the coolest thing. I can talk all my opinion, but nobody's asking about stuff. And it, it gets, I think the live streams are really, really cool. I do have to get there. Somebody's been telling me there's these cube ACs that you can have in here where they're ductless. I need one because I'm telling you, I got the garage door wide open. I'm hot and humid out here. I like to come out here and feel like not cold, but like at least comfortable. Uh, Mitchell said, what time is a live stream tomorrow? I'm going to figure it all out. So stay tuned. There'll be definitely at least an hour to a half an hour update usually i post like literally a pretty good update on my instagram stories when i'm doing something so if you don't follow me on instagram it's on there otherwise um may i'll do like there's the the news wall thing i'll do something there or there's like if i have a pre-set up live stream it will say a, a, a time and stuff like that actually too i might be able to do my office because my office i got a whole another monitor there I don't know. I'll figure this all out upon I'm doing stuff tomorrow. It's going to be cool. Club said, so can you show us the new trailers? They're in the dark right now. And I know where the, where the, the thing will go. I have the new trailers are on my uh, uh, on my Instagram stories. He said, I sent you the 2021 lineup in the DMs on Instagram. Thank you. I'll look at it at the end of the, at the end of the live stream. Uh, Jet said, are you definitely going to get the new GP 18R? Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, probably. I'm probably just, well, they're not coming out to November. So, I mean, it gives me, I don't know. I don't know yet. I can't make my mind up. It's a big decision. Caleb said you should post your live in a Facebook groups so people could come talk tomorrow on about the 2021. Yeah, if you want to share it on there. I, I I go on. I hate Facebook. I only like it for the marketplace. I don't want to talk to nobody on there. I look at stuff. I'm a watcher, not a talker. Rather. I, just, I watch and see what people vote. So yeah, if you want to share it to get people on there, definitely. But uh I don't I don't go on there. I can't even share this. When I'm this is up and running, like yeah, I'll, I'll show you. There, there is no sharing. This is look at this. <laughs> Into the matrix we go. <laughs> but uh yeah, look at that. That let's talk about this point of view. Like wait, hang on. Let's get like dude, that is just that is just a creepy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's no, I can't share anything. So if you want to share it, I appreciate it. I have no way of sharing anything. Yeah, thanks. If you share it tomorrow, I appreciate that. I might post photos on my Instagram or on my Instagram stories, maybe. I've been posting a lot of stuff on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of Instagram stories, though. But if you haven't checked out, I posted a CDU RXP video. So there's only one video left that will be on, see, Thursday. And it is the last RXPX video. But the this past one I just posted tonight is really wicked. Make sure you check it out. That thing was just ripping through the water. And I mean, I'm telling you, just ripping it. Really moving. And then we got the buoys. I got to still set those up. I got to fill them up with sand, but I do have some videos with the, the buoys and stuff. Pick this up from Jet Tribe. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. Yes, yeah, so I'm in like, got to go to the beach one day to fill these bags up with sand. I May mean, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll be really close to the beach tomorrow. I just don't want to bring the dog. She got the cone on and stuff. I just don't want to get like she got stitches and stuff. It probably wouldn't be an intelligent thing bringing her to the beach. She got like stitches and stuff in her ears. I don't want to get sand in there. I know her. She probably like dive on her face in the sand and be like a big mistake. 
MC Lovin said, what do you think about the Spark Trex? Um, I tried purchasing one used and either one, a guy had two, a loan way too big and it took 20 days to get, a, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? A title. Right? And the guy had like 128 hours. I didn't really spend my money on that. And then there was another guy trying to sell one on Facebook marketplace common, not near, but kind of the guy was asking way too much money. He was posting up. C2 groups saying how they have all these issues. And I called him out on it. He admitted to it. And he just was way overpriced. I'm like, because I wanted to buy with some of the money to sell the RSPX. I want to buy a Spark Trex and just do like a month's worth of videos, do a couple mods and just sell it. That was my plan to do. And uh, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. Dakota asked, where's the real Gucci cabinet? He uh his let's see what's it? i was just talking to my mom about it it's that rap song goes chase the checks never chase a up that's what he's doing he's doing this act <laughs> he has a little girlfriend that he's running around with that he does not do any work in that and he's just chasing around following her like oh where's he going oh <laughs> uh, yeah so no you there there won't be any real gucci gavin videos on his youtube channel anytime soon so sorry He's kind of like one of those people, he posts a video and does a thing and goes like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. He's just like, I don't know. I don't really see him that much. All I get, all I get is messages from him. He wants to sell the skis, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. He's asking me to do stuff for him. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> I asked him to do a couple of things for me, and he couldn't do it for me. So uh, I asked him. I asked him if he could help me take the. Uh, what I got to do is take the trailer off. It takes two people to lift the trailer off so I can put the wheels on the other trailer because he took the wheels off and stacked it up there. And you need two people. I asked him, and he's like, "Man, it's not happening tomorrow," kind of thing. He's a cool guy, but I don't know. Mitchell said, have you ever come to the Jersey Shore one day and ride your ski there with me? I, I've been to New York once. I went to New York Boat Show. It is a long drive up there. I wish I could, but, man, the tolls. I spent, like, $400 on tolls driving up that way. Man, it's just like, that is it. South Carolina, we got no tolls. Toll, when I live in the Midwest, they're tolls, and they, like, get you on it. South Carolina, no tolls, man. It's like the... You have no plates on lights or on trailers, like totally awesome out here. But that'd be cool. Man, if they rented jet skis, I'd come up there. I wouldn't haul all that stuff. It's just too far. Uh somebody asked, let's see. Um, yeah, it was like four hundred dollars or something. That's crazy. It was like I had money with me and I'm like, dude, this is I did not think the trip was gonna be that expensive. It was crazy. I took the Hellcat to New York City. If you didn't see those videos, really cool, man. Ripping through the tunnels with it. I had the 360 camera. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Somebody asked about something about the uh, – Diva said the lower hall is co-designed and tested by Brian Baldwin. It's amazing. Y'all have just worked on air, ergonomics and tech stuff. Let's see, somebody asked something about jet, jet tribe. So, uh, Caleb said – you getting anything new from Jet Trap? Yeah, I did a whole video. I don't know if it's all out here still. So it's some stuff. Um, oh my god. Man, that was loud. <laughs> the people are sleeping, they're awake now. Yeah, so I got a cu custom cover. They just came out with Jet Trap. I haven't put it on yet. I'm gonna do a whole video about this. And I got some like New so many shorts that they just came out with. So um, I think I got this is more like I guess it would be like a not like a bright green or a light green. So you can kind of see the green comparison right there. I got those and then this is different than the rest of them. Yeah, this stuff is like their swimsuits. I'm telling you, 
best stuff out there. Really thick material and made for riding. They're not like a regular swimming trunk. That's a good question, Mitchell. Do you think the new 2020 Yamaha Wave Runners will have Riva parts to it? Well, the 2019 and up Yamaha GP 1800Rs are running the Riva Racing ride plate. So I wouldn't doubt there might be some stuff if they added. Could be some type of Riva product that will be a Riva product but will not say the Riva name on it. Because if you look between the ride plate, they sell this black, painted black, to the stock one on a 2019 and up Yamaha GP 18R. They look identical. They just don't have the stamp there saying Riva Racing. And it's probably something that Yamaha requires. So when they're making the molds, they probably have two different ones. Uh, Devious to come up to Delaware and run out the Indian River outlet. I'll buy you a flounder pounder at Paradise Grill. Man, I appreciate it. That was my whole plan. If the coronavirus didn't happen, I was going to ride west to east coast was my plan. Hook a couple skis up on the trailer and just go on a road trip filming stuff. Good man. Maybe 2021. Maybe I'll have to wait to 2022. I don't know. Dakota said, bro, I thought the Florida tolls were bad. Yeah, no. When I went up there, there was like, even to get onto the island New York City was so much money. I'm like, are you serious? And then, like, there are only certain places to park. It was just like, yeah. I mean, I spent a fortune, too, on uh, Ubers and stuff around there. I was glad to go there. I went to the filming location, the fire active house where they filmed Ghostbusters. That was like the thing it was cool. I never been in New York City. It was a lot of fun, but I was not even. I wasn't even there for a day. I went to the boat show. I got no sleep, and I got really sick after coming back from being there too. It really sucked. But interesting thing, I had the whole live stream talk about. It. So when I was there, I asked a gazillion questions. I talked to people. So the Coast Guard were there. I don't get a little off subject, but it's water related. So I go to the Coast Guard. I'm talking to them, asking a gazillion questions. Right really technical questions. So I'm talking to somebody head up there. I'm like, well, what's kind of some of the, you know, we're talking about sharks and, you know, different stuff. And I said, well, what's the craziest thing you guys been seeing lately? Now, no joke. He's not pulling my leg. He's being serious. He goes, we've been chasing after a lot of orbs underwater. He said, with the helicopters, the planes, and the boats. See lights underwater. And they go chasing to see what they are. And they said they're fast. And that's what they've been chasing after. You guys can get what that could mean. But that's pretty that's pretty crazy when somebody's telling you. I was like ready to pull the camera. I'm like, oh, let's get you on record about this. And uh, it's funny. They told me one thing. I don't really want to talk about it because I want to leak something bad that was going on there. And I asked about something he told me, and I was talking to the New York police, their boat patrol, about something else. And they're like, how do you know that? I'm like, look, the Coast Guard down there is just blabbing their mouth telling me everything. And they're like, that's that's private information. You're not allowed to know that. I'm like, well, dude, they're telling me everything. <laughs> I like to, I like when people tell me a lot of stuff. Um, let's see. Dakota asked, are you thinking about just having the GP and one FX to have to your collection of skis? I don't think I'm purchasing the FX. Long <laughs> X Jets at Long Island to Florida Keys pinned the 18. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, no. So back about the FX the GP. I'm really liking the race inspired skis. I'm for sure getting the Super Jet. I really was waiting to see Kawasaki come out with something new with the 310R. I really don't think it's going to happen. People are talking about some Euro Europe release. I won on Kawasaki's Euro site, and they're only showing two brands of their skis. They don't have the full setup. I didn't see much on there where people are seeing. So, uh, yeah, I, I, if they were coming out with a new three, I was really going to for sure. Well, I'll spoil it. I was really for sure going to buy a Kawasaki 310R. They haven't changed anything. And I just don't want to buy something that the next year they could be changing stuff. Not saying anything could happen throughout the year. But right now, I don't know what I'm doing with the GP, to be honest. Uh, I'm selling. It's up for sale. Everything's always for sale. 
Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I think having two Yamahas at all times would be cool. Like I really like to have SXR fifteen hundred. Got that. Get the three ten R, three ten R versus the GP eighteen hundred R, and then have the Super Jet versus the SXR fifteen hundred. And that would be like the biggest comparison of the two because the, the Kawasaki still reigns champ as the fastest production jet stand up jet ski. So I'm excited without ever. Riding a super jet, I'm putting a deposit on it. Take my money. Take my money. When am I getting into the I was like, some people, especially I'm like, I want to be the first person, <laughs> the first person to take delivery. <laughs> the first, <laughs> not second, the first. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I answer a few more things, and I'm going to get out. It's one hour and 30 minutes into this. It's midnight. I'm going to be – I'm already starting to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> I've been trying to go to bed early, and it doesn't happen, so I'm trying to get in this good habit. I'm just glad we got a lot of people coming on into this live stream, and we got another one that's literally today. <laughs> There's another one happening later today. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to say that, but it's not happening tomorrow. It's happening today. If you're in a different time zone, it's happening tomorrow. But in my time zone, it's happening today. Amir said, hi, what's up, brother? I'm actually real tired. I've been driving all day, so... Uh, Steve said the super jet is only coming in white. That's correct. I wish it was something else. I'm just feeling when I saw that photo I posted as a thumbnail yesterday, I was like, oh man, please be a concept. Please don't say that's the final product with graphics. I have to say, my only complaint is I'm taking the graphics off that thing as soon as I get it. Chip said, man, get psyched to see the new skis tomorrow. Have a good one i'm out peace out chip cadence and are they being released tomorrow yes you know we're doing a live stream later today mitchell said should i get a breather kit for the 2020 vx cruiser you could i mean it's not a must um but you could it's crazy i have an oil catch can my jeep srt and you wouldn't believe how much oil collects in that and if I didn't have it go all right back into the engines of the throttle body, it's actually pretty crazy. And the cool thing is, too, my Jeep SRT had the front and rear seal on the transmission were leaking real bad and just got that fixed. And the thing is driving like a champ, and it's this close to hitting 60,000 miles, and it still drives like the day I bought it, which I'm really impressed usually start feeling stuff and the interior is staying pretty pretty mint take good care of stuff and probably only think i had a lot of dog hair in there that's about it uh dakota said baywell heading to bed be sure to chat sometime with my husband and i on instagram pwc rider 89 been a pleasure keep you in the loop for the 2020 lineup peace out thanks i appreciate it have a good night all right, so this means probably to be the closeout of getting out of here. So if you haven't checked out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Again, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. All the cool gear and 